welcome back to my channel for an updated Heatless Fall hairstyles tutorial. I love fall makeup, fashion, and hair, and I'm working with Ulta Beauty on this video because it's their gorgeous hair event, which is a twice yearly sale for beauty steals in the hair category for all hair types. In this video, while I create the styles, I also shop the sale and I picked up some old favorite products, tried some new ones. I am obsessed with this oil. This is the Sebastian Dark Oil. I have not smelled a hair product that smells as good. It smells like, like an Abercrombie store. Wow, I said like a lot. Uh, kind of sandal woody, it's amazing. This is my favorite new product from what I've tried, but I'm excited for you guys to see what I picked out. You definitely want to take advantage of this sale that lasts for three weeks, so October 3rd to the 23rd, and the event offers daily beauty steals for up to 50% off hair care. Some steals only last one day, some deals are online or in store only, so make sure to check it out so you can secure the beauty steals that you want. I'll have a link in the description bar as well as pinned as a top comment if you want to shop the sale and get some of your favorites at a discounted price or try something new, and let's get started with these ball hairstyles. The first look we are creating is a super high ponytail with a textured braid and I do a cheat in here so there's a hidden pony in the middle of the head so we get more length to the braid. I needed a new brush so I picked up the Olivia Garden Smooth and Shine Styler in Pink. I've already used it so you can see some hair in here but it has a removable cushion so you can clean the brush and I love the duo bristles in here. Brushing all the way through and in the ends, I've already raved about the Sebastian Dark Oil in the intro. It's a lightweight styling oil with an incredible fragrance and I'm adding this to the lengths and the ends. Might as well treat the hair while it's in a braid. And the scent is very fall and cozy to me like this sweater. Okay, finally the hair step. So after we've prepped, take your fingers and divide your hair from behind your ear up to the crown of your head so your hair is divided into two sections. I'm using my new brush to smooth out the top and then I'm using a sturdy elastic to create that first pony. Next step is to take the remaining hair and add into another pony at the back of your head and this time try to use a smaller elastic because we don't want this to pop out too much. Taking a comb, I'm using the tail and picking up the hair and pulling slightly to smooth it out and make the look a bit more relaxed. You can see this step in the perky ponytail tutorial which I'll also have linked. And this step is totally optional, but if you do have quite fine hair like me, your braid might start off very small and thin instead of messy and bohemian. So I'm going to add a three clip weft of extensions that I'm applying around the base of the ponytail and then I'm wrapping the base with a piece of the hair and adding some bobby pins to hide those clips. My favorite hairstyles again are more textured, so thanks Serena Vanderwoodsen more than Blair Waldorf's hairstyles. And I love an irregular look, so I'm pulling on some of those front pieces so that it's kind of like loopy and cool. And let's start the braids. So we're just doing a simple braid here, and once you're at the length of the second ponytail, start to expand your braid. I have a claw clip holding it as I do this, that's why it's sticking straight up. But having the second ponytail, we are going to start to braid the hair in. I'm doing a French braid, a couple wefts until the hair is all added into the main braid. Keep on braiding throughout your lengths, and if you do have finer hair that maybe hasn't been cut in a while like me, you might end up with a shorter piece within the three pieces that you're braiding. And if this happens, take one portion from the other section, add it into the smallest piece, and then continue to braid. This will give kind of an irregular look to the braid if you do it several times, but this allows you to keep on braiding farther in the hair and then section off with a small hair elastic. This is totally inspired by Gigi Hadid and I want the side of the braid to taper over the shoulder so I'm bobby pinning over to the side and then making sure I have one bobby pin hiding that elastic. And you might be thinking, why didn't I just create a ponytail and do a braid? But it would sit a lot shorter and it also would be weighed down a lot more so you wouldn't be able to see it as perky in front. And when you have a second braid, you can kind of prop up that first portion. It's also more comfortable because there's a lot less pressure on the crown of your head. For the pop culture password, comment we love Gigi Hadid because that is who this look is inspired by as well as the next style. For fall look number two, we are doing some cute bubble braids and I wanted to try the cryotherapy brush by Babyliss Pro. This is a product that I've seen reviewed a couple of times, but I feel like it's kind of misunderstood so I wanted to test it and it's a hair treatment, not a straightener. So it won't straighten your hair, my hair is pretty much straight as it is. It is a brush, but it does have a cold plate that goes to zero degrees Celsius and it can be used on wet or dry hair. 
And how it works is essentially kind of like a fridge where the back does generate some heat to keep the plates cool. And the benefit is to add moisture back in and hydrate the hair, improve the look and condition. So it's a product that you're supposed to use over time. So I will update you guys on this product the more I give it a chance, but I thought it was really interesting. Great to get on sale. And now let's create mini bubble braids. And because I prefer braided styles that don't lay right across my face, but more back, I'm creating another pigtail right beside it further back before adding in small elastics throughout the entire length of the hair. This look is pretty easy and very fast if you have shorter hair, but if you do have long hair like me, it is a bit of a hassle to pull the hair through the elastic each time. And apply the elastic a bit further than you want the bubble to be, and then separate the hair underneath in two and pull. This pushes it up and creates a little bubble form. There's quite a few ways you can wear the style. You could do a couple just around your face, which is really cute, or you can do bubbles all the way down the lengths of the hair. You can keep the bubble size super consistent. I decided to go kind of bigger at the bottom and throughout the day, if you want the bubbles off your face, it looks cute as a half up, half down style too. Be sure to let me know which look is your favorite and I think you'll love this last one, which was loosely inspired by Lily Rose Depp at a red carpet. I love overnight curls, but sometimes it's frustrating to create robe curls overnight with your full head of hair and then find for some reason they've loosened up overnight or maybe your hair just didn't curl as much as you thought it would. So as a foolproof way to do this, I like to get ringlets around my face by leaving out most of my hair. I'll either put it in a bun or just leave it. And then I'll do the section around my hairline and create tight ringlet curls. And while my hair is still in these ties, I'm gonna work with the back section of my hair and brush it into a high ponytail. And I'm using the Fakai Full Blown Boom Dry Texture Spray that I picked up at the Gorgeous Hair Event, which is perfect for fine hair. I spray it in circular motions and then scrunch my hair for instant volume and an airy texture. It's definitely lighter than hairspray. And it also has a warm woodsy scent, which is like the hair oil. So I'm obsessed with the products I picked up in terms of scent and these have worked really well for me. Instead of adding an elastic, I'm starting the Twisted Ballerina bun from here, looping the ends around the base. This holds for me temporarily. I will reposition the bun, start to tug on each side to make it fuller, more soft and romantic. And then I'm securing each side with bobby pins and piecing apart as I go. So that's how I do a pretty version of a messy bun. I find it really stays in place with bobby pins because my hair is quite thin, but if you have very thick hair, you can use an elastic and then use bobby pins to shape it how you want by following the same steps. Now all we gotta do is remove the robe curls and I look very Regency air here, but we're not gonna keep it this way. I'm piecing apart the curls and then piece by piece, picking up and adding into the base of the bun. Because I don't have shorter pieces around my face, I like to loop a section into a pin curl with the ends hanging down and then use two bobby pins on either side of the loop to have a shorter curl around my face. It's really pretty to add these curls throughout the bun, very romantic, and I'll take the leftover curls that maybe I don't want all around my face and I'll pin them to the back of the bun. I also picked up the Chi Shine Infused Hairspray, using that to set the curls because my hair is naturally straight and will fall. And here's where I pulled major inspiration from Lily Rose Depp. I loved that her stylist had a massive bow at the back of her bun. So I decided to tie my own. I pinned the sides of the bow right under the bun. And of course you can cut the bow shorter, but I felt like the really long ends was very interesting, especially if you have like an open back top or something. And I'm back at it again with the Sebastian Dark Oil, adding it to the bun for some shine and because it smells amazing. And I hope you enjoyed this year's hairstyles and thank you to Ulta Beauty for sponsoring this video. I had a blast shopping the sale and coming up with these looks. I'll have products that I tried linked down below in the description bar. You can just press the small arrow if you're on a mobile device to see it, as well as pinned as the top comment. And if you wanna keep on watching, check out my last year's video. That was more heatless fall hairstyles that I still wear all the time. Love those styles or maybe you're looking for fall makeup inspiration and I would recommend the iconic 60s makeup tutorial that I did last year. For some reason it's picking up in the search engine and I think it is a really great look for fall if you like something bolder on the eye and I will see you in my next tutorial.